Hello future pilots you are watching pilot preparation today we will be starting a new chapter called departure but before this i want you to watch the previous videos which are related to the earth a full chapter and 1 degree is equals to 16 nautical mile because the terms which you will see in this chapter are all discussed in detail already so please go to the link in the description or somewhere here and watch those videos and come back okay so i'm expecting everyone has watched the video so let us start so what is departure you might have heard about the departure time and the arrival time but this chapter is not dealing with time this chapter is dealing with distance so this departure is different this departure deals with distance in nautical mile at a given latitude so this chapter tells when a flight travels at a particular latitude how much is the distance covered by that particular flight so what we know by the definition departure is nothing but it is a distance in nautical mile at a given latitude so if we are talking about longitude there is different formula for that but only for latitude departure is applicable to have a better feeling let's see one example so if this is my 30 degree latitude 30 degree south so what i can say that if a plane is traveling from p to q p to q i can find the exact pq length or even if the plane is traveling from p to s i can find the exact length traveled by the plane with the help of departure formula now that we know the definition of departure let us derive the formula of departure for that we will have an informal approach what we know which latitude is the longest or the biggest latitude which is also equal to the perimeter of the earth and it is also a great circle so which latitude is that is it a 90 degree latitude if we see where is the 90 degree latitude 90 degree latitude is this one is this a 60 60 degree latitude 60 degree latitude is this one correct and this is the 0 degree latitude so this must be equal to the perimeter of the earth correct so what i will do is i will try to find out the length or the perimeter of the earth and also the 0 degree latitude and by that answer i will try to make the formula for departure so how to calculate this perimeter i have one way we already know that 1 degree is equals to 16 nautical mile 1 degree projected from the center of the earth to the surface of the earth makes an arc that arc is equal to 60 nautical mile as we have discussed in the previous video so we know that 1 degree is equal to 60 nautical mile and what is the length of this 0 degree latitude it is 360 degree so what i can say it started from 0 degree longitude it traveled at 10 degree 20 degree 100 180 degree 20 120 degree and then 200 degree and then it is coming to 360 degree 360 degree correct so we started from 0 degree longitude and ended at 360 degree longitude to make one circle or to make one full latitude or to make one 0 degree latitude correct so what i can say what is my d long here d long is nothing but 360 minus 0 degree so i can say d long is 360 degree now how to convert this degree into nautical mile just multiply this with 60 so i can say my departure here is nothing but 360 multiplied by 60 so i will get my answer as 21600 nautical mile and that is equal to the perimeter of the earth or that is equal to the 0 degree latitude length what we have done we have taken the difference in longitude we have taken the difference in longitude and we have converted this degree into nautical mile by multiplying it with 60 so we have done d long multiplied by 60 correct but can we use this formula for all the latitude because we know that this latitude is not equal to this latitude we cannot use this formula or we cannot make it as generalized formula yet so what we should multiply with to make it a generalized formula we know that earth has a particular shape or geometry what we also know is that my 90 degree longitude which is this longitude makes a point circle 
or the length of the circle is zero, whereas the circle length increases as it goes to the equator. So by which trigonometric function I can make my 90 degree as zero and I can make zero degree as one. That should be cos function, isn't it? So if I multiply it with cos of latitude, I can say in the case of zero degree latitude, it will be cos zero, that will give me one. Whereas in 90 degree case, it will be cos 90, that will be zero. So my length of the 90 degree latitude will come out to be zero. So what I can say, the formula of departure is nothing but d long multiplied by 60 multiplied by cos of latitude. This is my formula, which I will use everywhere. So it looks very easy, right? It actually is very easy. Only what part is tricky is to find d long. So in the starting questions, I will help you in finding only d long. And after that, you will be able to multiply it with 60 and cos of latitude. Here, the latitude will always be same or it will be 40 degree, 30 degree. So you will always be given in the question. So we don't need to worry about that. Let's brush up some terms so that we will not find any difficulty in reading the questions of this chapter. So what we know by 000, we know that 000 degree is nothing but north. And 180 degree is nothing but south. And 090 degree is nothing but east. It is also called as easterly. And 270 is also called as west or westerly. So this is very important before we start the questions because these terms will be repeating many times in the questions. But more than this direction, what you need to always remember is if the plane is traveling in an anti-clockwise manner, if a plane is traveling in an anti-clockwise manner, AC, then it is going in an easterly direction. And if the plane is going in a clockwise manner, then that plane is going in western direction or westerly direction. So if you say that the plane is going 090, always check whether it is going in anti-clockwise direction or not. If it is not going anti-clockwise direction, make the direction in opposite direction. You will get it, okay? If you're not understanding right now, you will understand it later on, don't worry. So in the case of westerly, so if you hear westerly or 270, you have to check whether the plane is going clockwise direction. If the plane is not going clockwise direction, that means you have taken the wrong direction. So please note this down in your notebook and let's start with the first question. So the first question is, an aircraft takes off from point P, 30 degree north and 40 degree east. So first I will make east, west, north and south. So what I know, aircraft is taking off from P, which is 30 degree north. So I made this 30 degree north and 40 degree east. So 40 degree east will be like this. This is P. And lands at Q, 30 degree north, the so same latitude, and 25 degree east. So this will be like this. This is my Q. So what I can say after this, that the plane is going from P to Q, like this. So find departure. Departure means distance. So I know I have to find departure PQ. So what I can say about this, that it is nothing but D long multiplied by 60, multiplied by cos of latitude. So D long in this case is how much? D long is 40 minus 25. So 40 minus 25 multiplied by 60, multiplied by cos of latitude. So latitude is 30 in both the cases. So 30 degree. So this comes out to be 40 minus 25, 15, multiplied by 60, multiplied by cos 30 comes out to be 779.42 nautical mile. So in a very playful manner, we have got the first question's answer as, as well. Now let's see the variation in the type one type of question. So this question is same, that aircraft takes off from P and lands at Q, find departure. But this time the P, Q are having different values. So we'll only find the D long because you know the latitude will be how much? Mostly the same. Here in this case, the cos of latitude will be 30 degree 
and in this case the cos of latitude will be 30 degree here also cos of latitude will be 30 degree so we will not find out full departure but only will be worrying about the difference in longitude so let us start with the first point the first question is saying 30 degree south 40 degree east and 30 degree south and 25 degree east if you have checked the previous one it is 30 degrees north and 40 degree east and 30 degree north and 25 degree east so you can check that earlier it was north now it is south so will it change my answer actually it will not change my answer at all it will only change the diagram so diagram will come here okay so i will make this diagram again so you will understand how the answer will not change whereas the diagram will only change so i will make this zero degree longitude and zero degree latitude then i will make 30 degree south so 30 degree south will be here this is my 30 degree south and i will make 40 degree east so this is my 40 degree east and i will also make 25 degree east so this is my 25 degree east so what i know after this is this is my p this is my q and i am going from p to q so my departure will be nothing but d long so d long will be how much d long will be 40 minus 25 again so 15 multiplied by 60 multiplied by cos of 30 so whether you are in south or north if you are in the same latitude if you are traveling the same length then the departure will be co coming out to be same very logical isn't it now let's see the second question in the second question it is saying 30 degree north and 40 degree east and 30 degree north and 40 degree west so we have east and west both this time so we will make 30 degree north first 30 degree north and 40 degree east 40 degree east will look like this and then 40 degree west so same 30 degree north and 40 degree west so we can see this is 40 degree east this is 40 west this is my p this is my q now in this case the difference in longitude would be 40 minus 40 correct no it is not at all correct because in this case what happens uh, to understand that we have to understand what is d long actually so if i make zero degree longitude and zero degree latitude and if i make 10 degree east longitude and 30 degree east longitude and if i want to find out the difference in longitude 10 I will write d long is equal to 30 minus 10 correct but actually what i'm doing i am subtracting this with this correct i'm getting this distance so i can say difference in longitude can be more appropriately said to be distance between two longitude correct we want to find the distance between two longitude or we can say the shortest distance between two longitude okay so at this point what i can say what is the distance between these two longitude this is this much so i started from zero then i will go 40 here right so this is 40 and this is also zero to 40 so this is also 40 so i can say what is my d long d long is nothing but 40 plus 40 here that is nothing but 80 degree now whether it is east or west again check it whether it is clockwise or anti-clockwise so if you are going from p to q you are going in clockwise direction so it will be west but if you were going from q to p then it would be 80 degree east now that you have found out the d long you have to multiply it by, by 60 and then with cos of 30 and you will get the answer so this one is done now let's see the third question that is 30 degree north 40 degree west and 30 degree north and 40 degree east so you can check the same values are there but only p has become q and q has become p so in this case what will happen this will be p this will be q so my answer will come as 40 plus 40 that is 80 degree east in the third case it will be d long as 80 degree east because we are going in anti-clockwise direction that is this direction this time now i am very sure that you have got a little bit idea about how to calculate d long correct so you will also calculate departure very easily and we have one more question related to departure so we have this position point p that is 40 degree north and 165 degree west so we are going at the back side of the globe and 40 degree north and 103 degree west so this time i am going like this so this is my zero degree longitude and this is my zero degree latitude and i will go 40 degree north and 
so this is my 40 degree north so from 0 to 90 i can see all the longitude whereas after 90 these longitude i will not be able to see very properly correct so to differentiate the front longitude and the back side longitude i do like this so uh, to make 165 degree longitude which will be this side so the, to make 165 degree longitude i will make like this okay so this is my 165 degree west and then i would i have to make 103 so 103 will be somewhere here so near to the 90 so near to 90 means uh, like this this is my 103 degree 103 degree west now i have p and i have q i have to go from p to q so like this now calculating d long is easy or tough it is very easy so d long is nothing but 165 minus 103 what will be the direction of d long uh, if you're going like this from the back side if you're going like this then you're going in anti-clockwise direction correct so it will be 165 minus 103 so it will be 62 degree east and once i get this i can find out the departure as 62 multiplied by 60 multiplied by cos of 40 degree now this one is also done let's go to the last type in this type of question this is 40 degree north and 165 degree west and this is east so what i will make i will again make like this so I can make this zero degree longitude is made. This is zero degree latitude. And I will make 40 degree north. So this is my 40 degree north. And 165 degree west is like this. And this is 170 degree east. So this is 170 degree east. You can see 165 will be here. 170 will be here. So they are near to 180. So they are near to this line, this point. Okay, 180 will be nothing but zero degree. Same, same line. They will be in same longitude. Now, D long will be how much? D long will be the distance between two longitude, the shortest distance between two longitude. So I need to find out the shortest distance between these two longitude like this. So these two longitude, the shortest distance is this, right? 165 and 170. So what I can say, this distance is how much? This distance is 180 minus 165. And this distance is how much? This distance is 180 minus 170. So what will be my difference in longitude? That will be 15 plus 10. This is 15. This is 10. Correct. So this is 15 plus 10. That is 25 degree east or west. You are going from 165. That is P. You are going from P to Q like this. P to Q, right? So if you are going... From P to Q from the back side, you are going like this, correct? So you are going clockwise. So it will be west. Now with this, I can say my departure will be 25 multiplied by 60 multiplied by cos of 40. So this question is also done. With this, uh, I hope you have learned everything about the type 1 and about the T long. So you will not face any issue hereafter. Now let us see the type 2 type of question. Aircraft takes off from X 40 degree 30 minute north and 35 degree 30 minute east so we know this is 0 degree north south and this is 0 degree east west and we are told 40 degree 30 minute north so 40 degree 40 degree 30 minute north and 35 degree 30 minute east so east will be this side correct and west will be this side so 35 degree 30 minute east will be this and flies easterly track for two hour easterly means anti-clockwise correct so anti-clockwise like this right so it will go like this easterly and this is also east so in both the ways i have checked that this side is easterly so easterly track for two hours uh, two hours is the time with a ground speed of 400 knot what is 400 knot 400 knot is nothing but nautical mile per hour that is speed so this is time and this is speed okay so i can find the distance traveled by the plane so distance is nothing but departure here so this departure comes out to be speed into time so 400 multiplied by 2 so that will be 800 nautical mile so this is my departure now what i know is like i need to find coordinates of destination 
Now I have I have been given only one longitude. I need to find out the end coordinate or the end longitude, the destination longitude. Because latitude will be 40 degree, 30 minute only. But the longitude will vary, correct? So what I will do for this, I know departure is equals to D long multiplied by 60, multiplied by cos of latitude. And I also know that this is 35 degree, 30 minute east. So it should be bigger than this. So what I can say, what will be my D long? D long will be X minus 35 degree, 30 minute. Correct. And my cos of latitude will be this only. So what I can say, this is my D, uh, departure. So 800 is goes to D long multiplied by 60 multiplied by cos of 40 degree, 30 minute. So my D long will come out to be 800 by 60 multiplied by cos of 40 degree 30 minute now how to put this in the calculator i'll tell you first write 800 then use this division symbol then put 60 multiplied by cos of 40 degree 30 again same degree symbol minute and if there would be second i could have used zero zero second for the same thing Though you don't need to put this one and then close the bracket. So you will get the answer as 17.53. No, this is not the correct answer. As the answer should also come out in degree with the same symbol, we can get the degree. So that is equal to 17 degree 32 minute. So 17 degree 32 minute is my D long. And what actually is my D long? So D long is nothing but X minus. 35 degree 30 minute is goes to 17 degree 32 minute. So I can say my longitude value comes out to be so this is 53 degree 2 minute. This is the answer. Now let us see one variation in this type of question. An aircraft takes off from 30 degree south and 170 degree east. So first I will make 0 degree longitude and 0 degree latitude. Now I will make 30 degree south and 170 degree east. So this is my east, this is my west. So I will say 170 degree is this near to 180. So I will make like this. 170 degree east will be like this. Okay. So this is my 170 degree east. And it flies for 270 for 4 hour 30 minute. What does 270 means? 270 degree means westerly means clockwise. So whenever we say 270 or westerly, it means what? Clockwise. This is something which we always keep faith in because here this is 270 is this, but we the flight is not going this direction. This is actually going this direction. Why? Because you are going like this, clockwise is like this, right? Clockwise is like this. So you are at the back side, right? So from the back side, you will go clockwise like this in this direction, correct? So clockwise will be like this. So here, actually, you are going not 270 here, but actually, you are reaching 270, 270 like this. Okay. You are not going, you are not reaching 270 like this. You are reaching 270 like this so that is the reason whenever you hear 270 or west you have to see whether it is going clockwise or anti-clockwise so now i know that the fl uh, flight is going in 270 degree direction that is this direction for four hour 30 minutes with the ground speed so i am i am given with time and speed so i will be getting departure or distance so i will find departure as speed into time that is nothing but four hour 30 minute multiplied by 40 multiplied by 450 so it comes out to be 2025 nautical mile so i just again need to find out the coordinate of the end point or the landing point so i know the coordinate will be like this here the coordinate will become like this so this will be point p i need to find the longitude p this is my 170 degree east longitude this second longitude p will be Lesser than 170 degree east or bigger than 170 degree east. As I'm going from 
172 this direction i can say it is 170 160 150 140 130 140, that means the next value will be lesser than 170 degree east so i can say my d long will be looking like 170 minus x instead of x minus 170 this time so again i can find out my departure my departure value is this so departure 2025 is equals to d long so d long is this i will use this later multiplied by 60 multiplied by cos of 30 degrees south na so it will be 30 so d long comes out to be 38 hour 58 minute so my value of x will be x is equals to 131 degree 1 minute east so this is the x or the value of p in longitudinal coordinate and latitude will be 30 degree south again now let's solve the type 3 type of question before solving i want you to comment down all your doubts if you have and you can whatsapp us you can also join our classes it is very cheap and it will be one on one so you will enjoy it a lot so let's start with the type 3 now two aircraft a and b take off from x 40 degree north and 50 degree east so have i have this 0 degree latitude and 0 degree longitude and i also have east west south north what else i have i have x which is 40 degree north and 50 degree east so i have this as 40 degree north and 50 degree east so this is my 50 degree east and i have second point is 55 degree north and 65 degree east so i have this 55 degree north and 65 degree east this is x this is y i have to travel from x to y now how do these plane fly let's see so a flies on easterly track till longitude of 65 degree east so 65 degree east is this one so a flies like this right this is a's path and then it takes 0 0 track 0 0 means north so it first take this and then it takes 0 0 north then what about b b flies on northerly track till 55 degree north and then takes 0 90 track to y so first it goes till 55 de degree north and then it takes 090 090 090 means east 270 means west 180 means south and 00 means north so 090 means east so first it goes above up and then it goes right so this is my b and this is my a correct so both have taken different track but they started from the same position which is x and they ended at y so let's make it more proper it looks like this right so my b is this and a is this so i have made this dotted line so you will get a better view this is 55 degree north and 40 degree north i make like this only but for your understanding i have made this circle and globe everything but actually uh, you can directly make like this also so this is 55 degree north this is 40 degree north and this is how much this is 65 degree east and 50 degree east so this is 50 degree east and this is 65 degree east correct now i know the i just need to see the question the last part which aircraft flies shorter distance and by how many nautical mile so i need to find out which aircraft will re reach early and by how many nautical mile so let's see that what we know the more we go above the equator the horizontal distance or the latitudinal distance decreases so by that logic itself i know that a has traveled more path than b why more than b because these longitudinal distance when seen from the front view it will be it will be seen like this correct if i see from the front view if i see from the front view like this 
then i will see this diagram to be like this like a trapezium so i know this longitudinal distance will be same but still if you want to find out the longitudinal distance then you can take the difference in latitude okay so that will be how much that will be 55 minus 40 so difference in latitude is 55 minus 40 so my longitudinal distance is equals to 15 degree multiplied by 60 so this comes out to be 900 nautical mile so if i name this point as p and this point as q then i can say xp is equals to yq is equals to 900 nautical mile so if i need to find out the difference of distances between these two flights i don't need to check the longitudinal paths only the latitudinal path will work so if i want to tell the answer orally i can say that a has traveled the longer distance because the longitudinal distance are same but latitude is longer for a as in comparison of b let's just prove the same thing by solving it so departure for a which is xq is nothing but d long multiplied by 60 multiplied by cos of latitude here the latitude will be what latitude will be 40 in this case because this is the a's path which is on the 40 degree north latitude so d long is how much d long is 65 minus 50 multiplied by 60 into cos of 40 so this comes out to be 689.5 nautical mile and what about the departure py which is taken by b so departure py is nothing but d long multiplied by 60 multiplied by cos of latitude here d long will be same which is 65 minus 50 and 60 will be same cos of latitude will become 55 so this will be 15 multiplied by 60 multiplied by cos of 55 516 nautical mile so by this what i can say a has traveled more distance and b has traveled less distance but now i can also say by how much that is nothing but equal to d a minus d b that comes out to be 689.5 minus 516 that is equals to 173 nautical mile so this is the difference and this is also the answer now we have arrived on type number four which is very interesting so be with me on this one so i'll first make the circle because this question will require a lot of drawing an aircraft takes off from 30 degree north and 10 degree west so what i can say it starts from zero zero which is zero degree north south and we are going to 30 degree north and 10 degree west this is 30 degree north and this is zero degree longitude so 10 degree west will be how much uh, 10 degree west will be this side so 10 degree west will be this side <laughs> now it flies easterly track that means easterly means east also and this is west also but easterly usually means anti-clockwise so easterly track means this side for two hours so it it travels for two hours like this it would have reached till here i am assuming till here okay let's assume like this so i don't know this point and then it alters its track to 000 where is 000 this is 000 so it alters its track to 000 so it goes up and later alters its track to westerly track so it alters its track to westerly track okay like this now where, till where it is going after flying on westerly track for 1 hour 40 minute it crosses meridian of 010 that means it is going till 010 only so what i can say it is going till here so it started from here it goes like this and then it went here and then it stopped here and what was this time this was two hour this was one hour 40 minute now i need to find out the flying time at the second leg at first leg second leg and third leg the flying speed was same which is 420 knots and we have to find out the flying time at second leg so how does we get the time at second leg we know the distance comes out to be difference in latitude this is l1 this is l1 which i need to find out i don't know what is the latitude at the third leg right 
I know the latitude here, which is 30 degree north. Correct? So what I should do, I should try to find out the latitude there. How I can find out, I'll tell you. Okay. So first I need to tell you that this is my L2. If I get L1 and L2 both, I can find the difference in latitude and then I can multiply that difference in latitude, which is in degree multiplied by 60 will give me what? Will give me the distance at second leg. Once I get the distance at second leg, I know the speed at second leg, which is 420 all throughout all the legs. So I can directly get time is equal to distance by speed. By that, I will get the time at second leg. Correct? So what I need to do first, at first, at first point or first leg, I need to find out D long. Why D long? Because D long will be same at the first leg and the third leg. Because the first and the third path is made between two same longitudes. Then I can use this D long in the third leg. And from the third leg, what I can find out? I can find out the latitude, right? Because I will be knowing the third leg's uh, departure and I will also know the D long from the first leg, which will be same for the third leg. So what I will get, I can get cos of latitude. So first and foremost, what I will do, I'll use the first leg. And from the first leg, first and foremost, I need to find out departure. Right? Departure at first leg. What is departure at first leg? Departure at first leg is equal to this. That is equal to speed into time. So speed multiplied by time. 420 multiplied by 2 hour. So that is nothing but 840 nautical mile. Now what is the D long at first leg? D long is nothing but departure which is 840 by 60 into cos of latitude. Cos of latitude is 30 degree north. So 30 degree. This comes out to be 16 degree 9 minute. 56 second. So what I can say is 16 degree 10 minute. I will use this long in the third leg. So first, what is the departure at third leg? Departure at third leg will be speed into time. So it comes out to be 420 multiplied by 1 hour 40 minute. So this comes out to be 700. Now that I know departure at 3, what I can use that for? I can use to find the latitude. So 700 is equals to 16 degree 10 minute into 60 into cos of latitude. So my latitude comes out to be 43 degree 48 minute. Now I have learned about this latitude very properly, which is 43 degree 48 north and i know this is 30 degree north so what i can say difference in latitude is how much 43 degree 48 minute minus 30 degree so this comes out to be difference d lat comes out to be 13 degree 48 minute now what will be the distance at second leg so distance at second leg comes out to be 13 degree 48 minute multiplied by 60 because 1 degree is equal to 16 nautical mile. So 13 degree 48 minute will be how will be how many nautical mile? This will be multiplied by 60. So this comes out to be 828.5 nautical mile. Now I know the distance and I also know the speed which is 420. So what is the time at second leg? So time at second leg is goes to time is goes to distance by speed this comes out to be 828.5 by 420 1 hour 58 minute 21 second so this is your answer and this type of question are many times frequent in your exams now we have come on to the final type of question which is also very important or the most important question type as well which is type number five so let's start reading and drawing an aircraft takes off from x 60 degrees south and 40 degree east so first i will make the diagram which is like this and this is my zero degree longitude and this is my zero degree latitude so aircraft 
takes off from 60 degree south. So 60 degree south will be this and 40 degree east will be this. Now I have 60 degree south and 40 degree east. So this is my initial point. Now let's travel the world. So aircraft takes off from this point and flies on track 000. So 000 is this. So flies on track 000 means this point for 600 nautical miles. So I will see, I'll say like this. Okay. And then flies on track 270. 270 is this. So it will flies on track like 270 which is this for 600 nautical mile again and then flies on track 180 180 is down so it will go like this for 600 nautical mile again and then flies on track 090 for 600 nautical mile so again it flies on track 090090 for 600 nautical mile so you can see this, this track is getting ended here. It started here and it ended here. Correct? Isn't it? It should be made like a square, right? It should be becoming like a square, but it is not becoming like a square. Why? If you see our longitude, this is my first longitude. This is my second longitude. If you see longitudes at North Pole and South Pole, what happens to them? At North Pole and South Pole, all the longitude converge, correct? All the longitude converge like this. They become like almonds. So at the equator, they are at the highest distance, whereas at the poles, they have zero distance, correct? So if this is my zero degree and this is my 60 degree, then what I can say, I started from this 60 degree only and went above for 600. Then I went like this for 600. Then I went like this for 600, but this length will be bigger than this length, right? So I will go a little ahead, little ahead to compensate or to complete the 600. To complete the 600, I have to go little ahead. So the diagram will look like I started like this. I went like this. Then I went like this. And then I went like this to make this 600, just like this one. I want to make this also as 600. So I went little ahead. Do you think that this is 600? No, this is not 600. So that is the reason I went little ahead. Any doubt in the diagram? If you have any doubt, please write down in the comment section. And also you can join our WhatsApp group and also ping us personally. So let's redraw and now understand what the question is asking. So find the final position of the aircraft. So I need to find out this final position. And my starting position is already given like 30, 60 degrees south and 40 degrees east. So what I'm given and what I need to find out how to calculate these things. Don't worry about anything right now. So you start from this point and you go like this. Then you go like this and then you go like this and then you go like this. X, 60 degree south, 40 degree east. Correct? We know this point. Now, this is 600 nautical mile. This is 600 nautical mile and this full length is 600 nautical mile and this is 600 nautical mile correct all are 600 nautical mile now what to do with this 600 nautical mile first what i need to do is i need to find out the coordinate this coordinate so we have this one coordinate how to find out the other coordinate with the help of difference in longitude so i want to apply difference in longitude here dl here now to apply difference in longitude here I need to find out the departure in this point at this point to find out the to find out the departure at this this point I need to find out the departure at this point if I know the departure at this point then I can subtract this this part from this and I can get this value of the departure and from the departure point I can get the d long and from d long I can get the coordinate because I already know this coordinate is also 60 degree south, but something at east. I don't know how east, but I know this is more than 40 degree east for sure. Correct? Can I know the departure at this point when I'm given only one coordinate? No, I cannot find the departure at this point. What I can find out then? First, I need to find out the latitude at this point because here I can find out the departure. And from here, 
I can also find the D long. Once I get the D long, I will get the departure here. I hope this diagram is better. So first what we need to do, we need to find out latitude at YW. Then what we need to find out? D long from YW. Now after finding D long at YW, what we need to do? We need to use that D long at ZX. So D long YW is equals to D long ZX. This will give us departure at ZX. Once I get departure at ZX, I will subtract it from 600. So departure at XP is equals to 600 minus departure at ZX. Once this is done, what I will do? I will get D long at XP. From this, I will get the coordinate of P. Please copy this and let's solve this. So as we discussed, first let's find out the latitude at YW. How to find out latitude at YW? We know one degree. We know one degree is equals to 16 nautical mile. So 600 nautical mile will be how many degree? 600 nautical mile will be 600 by 60. That is equals to 10 degree. Now, if you're going 10 degree above from south, if you're going from 60 degree south, 10 degree above, it will be how much? This will be 50 degree south. And how many degree east? It will be 40 degree east only. Correct? Now, first thing is done, that is, that is, we got the latitude. Now, what we need to find out? We need to find out D long at YW. So, D long at YW is nothing but 600, that is departure by 60 into cos of 50 degree latitude. So, this will be how much? 15 degree, 33 minute. 26 second. Now this will be equal to D long at ZX. Now this can be used to find departure at ZX. So departure at ZX is equals to D long into 15, 33, 26 multiplied by 60 multiplied by cos of 60 degree. Now, how much is the value of this 60 into cos of 60 degree? This comes out to be 466.71 nautical mile. <clears throat> now that I got the departure at ZX, I can find XP. So XP is nothing but Departure at XP, departure at XP is nothing but 600 minus 466.7, that is equals to 133.28 nautical mile. Now I can find D long at point P, isn't it? So I will get D long at point P as D long at XP or point P is nothing but D long is what? Departure by 60 into cos of latitude. So departure is 133.28 by 60 is how much? This 60 into cos of latitude is 60 degrees south. So this is this. So this comes out to be. So my D long comes out to be 4 degree 26 minute and 33 second and I am very proud of this. I don't know why. So this is my D long. And what I know, my longitude at P should be bigger than longitude at Q. So what I will say, this is nothing but X minus 40 degree east, X minus 40 degree east is equals to 
फोर डिग्री ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिग्री सेकेंड मिनट थर्टी थ्री सेकेंड सो आई विल जस्ट एड दिस सो माई कॉर्डिनेट एट एक्स इज एक्स इज गोज टू फोर्टी फोर डिग्री ट्वेंटी सिक्स मिनट ईस्ट एंड सिक्सटी डिग्री साउथ दिस इज माई आंसर now this is very important question and sorry for my writing but i am so tired you know you can see how long this video goes i don't even understand this long okay and i have done it in one go so please bear with me and you can see how we learn that when we go up down and east west everywhere your your diagram doesn't comes out to be a rectangle or square or something but it comes out to be a trapezium with with one edge going outside with one side going outside correct so this is how the diagram is formed in the southern hemisphere but how does it form in the northern hemisphere and how does it form at different points or at different cases let's see that as well because i want to co cover everything for you so that you will understand that when you are learning with us you are in the safest hand possible and we value your time so let's see all the variation in this type of question so the first variation this is in northern hemisphere how this how this is made you can see in northern hemisphere what happens this is my zero so what we do we start from here we start from here then we go some degree x degree south then we go x degree west then we go x degree north and then we'll go this side so it will go outside right because this this region is smaller and this region is bigger correct now how to make this one in this case what is happening can you tell me you can, this is this is the start point this is the end point so how to how to make it this is again in the north so i can make like this it is starting from here it is going like this then it is going like this then it is going like this then it is going like this so it is getting left behind here because this distance x Is it because of this distance x, so it cannot go till here. This will be left out portion. So now, what is this case? This case is again the same case as this one. So they both are almost same, but here the starting position is this instead of this. Correct. Now in this case, what is happening? This is in southern hemisphere. So what we can see here, we can again make an almond, and we can start from here because this is starting point. So I I will start from here. and i will go like this then i will go like this then i will go like this and then i will go like this and i will end up here because this is equal to this so it will fall little short so these were the many variations which you will find and all the things can be found out using the same algorithm and all the things can be found out using the similar algorithms please have a very good look again and again to this video and if you don't get it you can again contact us on whatsapp or here so until next time please 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 like and please share with your friends and please subscribe because this takes a lot of time energy and and if you can pay me uh, anything it is like it is worth my all the hard work so if you can pay me that is also very good thing and if you want to study navigation met or rex you can contact us on whatsapp or you can directly message us on chats so see you until next time bye